All right, so I'm gonna show you some ways to do these problems. All right, so going to y equals, we're gonna go ahead and type this in. So we got four parentheses, four minus x. Now to put the inequality, the symbol, you have to push second and then math. You'll see the inequalities pop up. This is less than, which is number five. Just scroll down there and push enter. Oops, and I forgot my parentheses, so I already messed that up. Then I'm gonna type in the rest of it, negative two x. Nope, negative 2x plus 8. And we're just going to push the trace button. Now on trace, you're going to see this line is on the x-axis. And then all of a sudden, a line jumps up here. So the way that we look for this, if I notice the numbers. Everyone look at your numbers here. So the number 4 is where the jump happens. Now if I type in the number 4, enter, if I'm in trace mode, I push 4, enter, You'll notice how the four is on the bottom. That is not part of the answer. So if the four is on the bottom, that means that we use a circle. So I'm gonna go to the four, I'm gonna put a circle like this. And then the line goes to the right side. So I'm gonna go to the right side. Now the reason we use a circle is because it never touches the number four. All right, the number four is on the bottom part. If the number four was on the top part of the line, y'all would use a dot. So just keep that in mind. And that's all we do it. So rewind it again, look at the steps, okay? Number two is the same thing. So go ahead and type this for number two. This is a minus five and a negative two. And my answer is going to be x is greater than four. All right, my symbol points the same way that the line goes. If the line goes to the right, it's gonna be this way. All right. So uh, what is the equation of the line that passes, that has a slope of zero and passes through four? All right, so I have a slope, m equals zero. I have this point, this is my x1, my y1. So my point slope form is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1 All right we did this last week so i'm just gonna put my numbers where they belong so y minus and my y1 number is a negative four so i have y minus four now we don't like to see minus and a negative so this is actually just the same thing as a plus four equals my slope the number is zero parentheses x minus x1 is just a six so that one stays like that we're good now, here's the one thing that happens. Why don't any of these answers match? Well, it's because of this zero. Zero times anything, these are multiplication, right? So when they multiply, guys, everything here is just becoming zero. So really, my problem looks like this. Y plus four equals zero. But again, look, we still have to figure out what's going on. Now, the Y number doesn't disappear because it has a plus four. The X disappears because this zero multiplies and becomes zero. I'm gonna move the four to get the y by itself. So what's the opposite of a plus four? Minus four. What is it, zero minus four? That's just gonna be negative four. So that is my answer, all right? So again, guys, rewind it, look at the steps, do the same thing on number four here. It's the same process. What is the solution set for negative two x plus 10? All right, so again, this, we can also use the calculator. So what are y equals? negative two x plus 10. Remember, go to second math, so you can get your symbols. Match the symbol, don't change the symbol here. And we have five x plus 45, and go ahead and push trace. So on this one, my line is going to the left side. So I know that it cannot be C and D because these are pointing the wrong way. They're pointing to the right, line is actually going to the left now what number are we at how much you want to bet we're at negative five everyone we're going to type that in negative five now right here the negative five is on top it's not on bottom like it was last time if it's on top that means that we have a line under it and that makes sense look the symbol does flip there's a flip that happens but the line under has to stay there if there was no line it would be a, but there is a line, so it's gonna be B, all right? 
That's it, guys. Rewind it. Do what you have to do so you can do number six. Same steps. All right. Now, here on this part, we have plus threes and minus threes. So we're going to put this into the y equals, and we're going to push trace to see which one matches here. The problem is these are not y equals ready. I have to move the three to the other side. All right. All these threes have to move because I need that y by itself. All right. So just change them opposite. All right. This becomes a minus three. What's the opposite of a plus three? Minus three. What's the opposite of a minus three? Well, this is a plus three. What's the opposite of a minus three? Plus three. So this is what you're going to type in the calculator, this part. Because now all these are gone. So now I have y equals and then this. 6 divided by 5, x minus 5, parentheses, and then the minus 3. Don't forget the minus 3. Now the y equals is by itself. I can go to your y equals button. All right, and let's see which one looks like it. All right, so then y equals 6 divided by 5. That's the division symbol, guys. Push the division key, parentheses, x. This is a minus 5, parentheses, minus 3. These are both minuses. They're both big marks. All right, let's push trace. Does this graph look like this graph. This is going downhill, this is going uphill. So A is not the answer. All right, now let's try B. So Y equals negative six divided by five, parentheses X minus five, parentheses minus three. So let me just type that in. All right, so that's a negative six. So you have to start with the negative key, negative six, all right, divided by five, parentheses X minus five, oh, excuse me, Close parentheses, minus three. Make sure you type it in correctly. Push trace. All right, so look, they're going the same direction. And one reason I know it's correct is because look at this, I have zero, three, and then this is on the zero, three. So I know that's good. Again, if you want, you can kind of look for some more numbers. And if you push trace, watch this. If I push one, uh, two, let's look for some whole numbers. Oh, 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 oh. Push trace, three, four, five. Okay, look, five, negative three. Those are some whole numbers. You see that? So does five, positive five, negative three, that also matches. So I know we're good. This is perfect. The answer is B. All right, so rewind it, do what you gotta do, follow the same steps for eight. You're just moving these over. Don't even have, don't draw the lines, guys. Don't draw the lines. Just think of the opposite. Opposite of a minus three is a plus three. Opposite of a plus three is a minus three, and you can just scratch them out if you want to. Just try them out. Try them out. All right. So uh, next we have. All right. So it says an office manager wants to buy an extra desk and chairs for the office. So we got desk and chairs. Each desk costs two hundred. So I know that the desk are two hundred dollars, right? Each chair costs 500, so I know that the chairs are 50, sorry, why did I say 500? Now you guys, the word each is very important in mathematics. It means multiplication. So I have 200 times the desk, and then 50 times the uh, chairs. That's how much they cost. Given our total budget is 350, which of the following best represents the number of desks uh, that you can buy? So can we buy more than 3,000? I don't know why I say 300, I'm, I'm messing up guys, I'm sorry. $3,500, I cannot buy more than that. So all of this combined, when I get the chairs and the desk, when I add these up, they have to be less than or equal to. So I need this symbol. They have to be less than or equal to my budget, 3,500, okay? So I know that I actually need a less than symbol. I cannot have a greater than, so I know that C and D are out. And I have to add these numbers. So are they both adding? Yes, they're both adding, all right? Now it says, um, the desks are going to be x. So this d times 200, that's x times 200. And the number of chairs is the y. So this is going to be a y here. So 200x, 50y. When I add those together, it has to be less than or equal to 350. Okay, 200x minus 50y. Oh, look at that. My answer is A. All right, so this is just common sense, guys. You have to read it. You have to understand what's going on. Less than is this symbol. They're smaller. All right, same setup guys, same setup for sure. You're gonna have a word problem just like this with tables and chairs. So make sure you understand this. All right.
And let's just do, let's do the hardest one in the back. I'm gonna make a part two, guys. This is only part one, so I can give you time to finish. Last one, let's just go ahead and just do number 12, and then y'all do 13 right here, and then that'll be this part. Tomorrow, you'll get the rest of that video. So again, guys, look, I have a function, y e my minus one. I need to move that one, makes it a plus one, right? So y equals negative two parentheses x minus one parentheses plus one. All right, let's type this in the calculator and we're gonna graph it this time. So negative two parentheses x minus one parentheses plus one. All right, here we go. So if I push trace, the first point you want is whatever it gives you, zero, three. All right, y'all see that, zero, three? So let's put it out there, zero, three. Now, I can ask the calculator these numbers right here. Watch, if I push trace, then I push one, enter. Do I get another whole number? One, one. Yeah, look at that. It tells me that's where it is. So let's put that down, guys. One, one. All right, let's try the number two. If I push two, enter. Two, negative one. All right, look at that. It's telling me where it's at. Positive two, negative one. Now, can I put a negative number? Some people are like, Mr. S, let's try these. Try whatever numbers you see here, guys. It's kind of helping you. Like if I try negative five, let's try negative five. I put negative five, enter. That's 13. Look, you can't even see it, it's way too high. I don't go that high, all right? So let's try a number, negative one, let's try that. Negative one, enter. Negative one, positive five. Negative one, positive five, yeah, I have that one. And look, that's it, that's it. Let's draw the line. Bam. All right, so do the same thing, guys. Rewind it, do what you have to, all right? Just move it over. On this one, guys, I will tell you, this is going to be like lower. The zero is going to be down here somewhere. So you have to type in the numbers one, two, three, four, five. When y'all push trace, like I said, rewind it if you have to. Try the numbers, the positives. I don't think the negatives are going to work. All right. That's the end of part one.